Summer brings more than just the heat. It also brings out the best of small town Indiana and local farmers markets are a prime example of that. Whether you're a foodie searching for the best ingredients or want a family fun weekend activity, you'll find delicious treats, unique crafts, and a lively atmosphere in any of the markets around the Indianapolis area. And joining me this morning to highlight the Whitestown Farmers Market and all it has to offer is Anna Gruber with the town of Whitestown. It's good to see you. Thanks for coming on this morning. Yeah, thank you for having me. Really appreciate it. So when most people think of Farmers Markets, they think of, you know, markets that are happening on the weekends, but yours is unique in a way because it's a little different. Tell me a little more about that. Exactly, yeah, we like to have it on Thursdays because, you know, as you said, it tends to be oversaturated on Saturdays and there's so much to do. Right. But we want to still have fun during the week because it is summer. So yeah, here we have some of the items that we will have at our farmer's market. And these are all here from one of our vendors who is there each week and it is Becky's Market. Oh, awesome. We have some great produce, flowers. We have a variety of other vendors as well. We're always looking for more though, so if you are a vendor, definitely come and check out our website. And what's also cool is you have theme nights, which is also unique, unique yes. and different. Tell me about that. Yes, so we'll have five theme nights throughout the summer. Our first one is on June 27th and it is our public safety night mm -hmm. where our police and fire come out and show us a little bit of a demonstration of what they do to help us stay safe in Whitestown. Yeah, <laughs> we have a list up on our screen right now. If you want to kind of schedule this out for your family or for a group of people, the 27th, Anna just mentioned public safety night on the 11th food drive and then the 25th kids night and then dog days of summer on August 8th. Hopefully it won't be that hot uh, <laughs> that day. And then the 29th, the mental health awareness day. That is pretty cool. Tell us because different markets you go to, you can find some very interesting gems, market finds. You have a lot of that going on. Yes, yes, we have just under 30 vendors. And again, like I was saying, we have produce, flowers, we have honey products, homemade crafts, um, and lots of other fantastic things. You and, just have to come to the market and see. And live music. Oh, always. We can't yes, forget about the live exactly. music, of course. <laughs> what kind of performances can people expect? Yes, so we'll have a variety of five different bands rotating throughout the summer, which are uh, both pop alternative and some original songs as well so you just have to come to the market and see <laughs> all right anna gruber with whitestown park and rec thank you so much for being here this morning and bringing this uh, a plethora of stuff we have even flowers and vegetables here again you just have to go to the whitestown farmers market on thursdays from 5 to 8 p.m uh main street park and runs through August 29th for more information and to find a list of this year's participating vendors just go to our website fox59.com and Jim as I mentioned one of those days will be the dog days of summer <laughs> hopefully it won't be that hot that yeah day. let's hope that we're not contending with some of the temperatures that we're going to have later on uh, in the work week here